What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. So we are gassing up here, getting ready for our ride home from Fort Lauderdale. But I no, wanted to... Uh, uh, shut up, shut up. Ah! <laughs> I wanted to share with you the fact that prices are up 14.8% this year, okay? Year to date. And from uh, April to May, it's up 3%, okay? So prices are still going up, all right? I know everybody's still in uh, shock with interest rates going up so much so quickly and uh, the shift that it's created in the market with a lot of buyers backing away and saying, okay, let's wait and see what happens and it's freaking a lot of you guys out. But the fact of the matter is, is I've been trying to tell you that that's what happens when something shocks the market. A lot of buyers will put the brakes on and it'll make you feel like, wait a minute, this market is gone, you know? And in fact, it's actually shifting very slowly. If you look back at 2005, that's when things really started to shift back in the late 2000s crash, right? From 2005 to 2008, 2008 is when the stock market actually crashed because of that real estate bubble. But that was a very slowly moving crash, right? That was one of the largest crashes that we've ever seen However, so slow in terms of how long it took and how the shift actually happened. It took from 2005 to 2008, okay, of prices going down before the stock market crashed, and that's when everybody calls the, the crash, the year of the crash, 2008. But prices have been going down since 2005, three years before the stock market and the official crash. And after that, Prices continued to go down all the way to 2011 was the very bottom of that pricing downward trend. 2012 was the first year we saw appreciation. So what I'm really trying to get through to you right now is the fact that this market is the moment that you've all been waiting on. This is the most amazing time to be in real estate right this second because listings are easier to get than they were last year. Okay, there's still tons of demand. Prices are still rising. Now, what do we think is gonna happen? Sure, the lagging effects of all this. We already see less transactions happening. We see agents jumping out of the business. We see all kinds of things happening, right, that tells us that we will see a leveling off of prices, but will they trend downward? I think so. I think prices are gonna have to go down as much as interest rates have went up, and I think that interest rates are gonna continue to go up, what's gonna put more pressure on prices. But again, guys, what I've been preaching from day one, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Closings are gonna continue to happen every single day. So I just thought that it would be really nice for someone to come out and say, hey, do you guys know that prices are still going up right now as we speak? And you're sitting here acting like the market is dead when listings are far easier to get than they were last year and there's so much data to share with your clients about what decision to make that's best for them. There's, this, is the, this is the most incredible moment, actually, guys, to, to be a real estate agent. I'm really proud to be a real estate agent. I'm proud to be able to see this market for what it is, be able to share it with you for what it is, and hopefully give you a different perspective that can help you visualize exactly how you need to take advantage. Guys, we're starting my free 60-day challenge again as a group next week. Go to zerototiamond.com and register and get ready to roll. You're gonna find all my scripts. You're gonna time block your day. You're gonna find tutorials, me making live calls, weekly email tutorials, so much stuff. Also, Zero to Diamond is a social media platform. There's over 12,000 agents there right now. You create your profile, you post on your wall, you DM people. Get in there and network with some agents. I'm gonna keep you guys informed. Take care, we'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.